Hey guys, Mo here again, showing the new feature of programming Xbus servos. Once again, we're working on Norm's Cub here, and uh, we just put 8411s throughout the wings and have everything on Xbus now. And I just want to show you quickly how easy it is to tune this out. So please follow along with me here, and we'll show you what's going on. As you can see here, we've got slight mismatch in some of the servos. The arms are not 100% in line once we've made the switch over. So we need to adjust some of this out. You can see this one's off by almost a quarter of an inch. So quite simply now, in the radio, we go into our system list, into XBUS, Servo Converter. We already did the other wing as practice, so now we're going to video and show you. We just go to left aileron first which is the wing we're working on 01 i programmed as being the inboard so we're going to switch this to 02 which is our outboard servo and then we come down to neutral and 10 steps at a time makes this easier to do we'll just move this over and as you watch we can pull this servo into alignment with the linkage and once I'm to a point where I can visually see down through the hole, you can see that a screw will go into this. Now, the only reason that I'm not actually using a straight edge ruler to square these up is because this had already been done with the other servos. So I know my linkages to servos, that's all square. And if you were to take a look down the line of this, you'll actually see that these two servos are now in line since everything else had already previously been done. The next thing that we're going to do is we want to check our maximum throw. At this point, I leave the linkage loose. I go to full deflection, and my servo is not traveling quite far enough. So I'm going to go ahead and the transmitter, once again, I had already made the changes to neutral where I like it. I'm going to go ahead and set that. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down here to the travel adjust while holding the stick all the way over. I will hit the increase button until that servo. Oh, let's try the L then. Maybe we're going the wrong way. There we go. So we were going the wrong way. So. H is one direction, L is the other direction, and so now I just increased the throw. We can now see that the screw is loose in the center of that once again. So now we'll go ahead and bring it all the way to the down position, and that's looking really nice right there. We'll just, the next step will be to set that. Just go to set. And I'll hold this all the way over. Oh, wait a minute. we got to go back down here where I did change it. Set. Says success. And then we'll go back to the left. Left looks good. So we'll scroll over to the left and we'll set it. And then we go back to the center. And somehow I didn't get center set. So I will go back to center. Readjust it so that I'm happy again, and then hit set. Now we've got our center set, endpoint set, endpoint set. Looks great. We'll go ahead and put a nut on this, and then we'll just, if we need to, we'll go back into the radio, and we can, one, one of the other things to show you here is that this 5%, which is where we are now, we can actually change that 5% down to 1% and up to 10%. So we can fine tune it as fine as we need to. So once we get the nuts on here, we'll go back in here and we'll do a little bit of fine tuning to get rid of the slight hum that we hear once they're loaded. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy this segment of XBus with JR. One more thing that we actually wanted to point out to you guys on this video is that we're actually working on the left wing plugged into the right wing port now that everything's going into XBus it doesn't matter where they plug in so all four of these servos 
are just plugged into two ports of the X bus coming out of the receiver. And then of course through the radio, we can control left flap one, left flap two, right, right aileron one, right aileron two, and we have all eight servos within the wing plugged into four wires. That's it. Everything nice and smooth. And then we've actually still got our Crow Mix completely operational. Nice and smooth.